Okay, so picking up where we left off. The other day we started talking about first core value, fast, first behavior, A to B. Okay, so to go back into A to B, what is it? Ramon. What's A to B? Colson, A to B, what is it? Moving with a sense of urgency. Moving with a sense of urgency. Okay, what else? We talked about two points. Efficient for that task. Okay, sense of urgency, efficient for that task. What else, Kobe? Yeah, your roles are clearly defined. Okay, so we said A to B. Roles are clearly defined so that we can move with a sense of urgency that the situation or outcome requires. Okay, I, got, I have that for you on a paper, so you don't have to worry about writing it down quite yet. Okay, roller situation. We talked about roles being clearly defined. We talked about what that meant. We know what we're doing. We understand it completely so that we can achieve our goal or our outcome. We talked about efficiency. We talked about sense of urgency. Okay, we talked about this this morning as coaches, and there were some great points made that we didn't make the other day that I'm going to make sure we hit on. Okay, we said a sense of urgency was what? The way we do something. The effort or the intention that we put into it, correct? Okay. And we talked about that default understanding of A to B, of fast being what Ramon said. It's about speed. It's about getting from point A to point B as fast or as quickly as possible. All right. So before we move into this, okay, roles are clearly defined. Told you the other day we're going to start to break that down even more. So when I went home, I had to think about this. What roles do I fill on a daily basis? What are my specific things that I'm required? I'm a husband. I have a wife. So I have specific, clearly defined roles that I have to fulfill there. Whether it be supporting my wife. Okay? Whether it be help parenting our children, because I'm a father. So there's a lot of overlap. And you're going to see that there's overlap with all of these things that we talk about with these core values fast, hard, finish together with the behaviors for each of these things. A to B, force, focus, elite preparation. There's going to be crossover there. There's going to be overlap. There's going to be how these things work together. That's why they're grouped that way. Okay? I'm a teacher. I'm a coach. Friend, son. So all of these are different roles that I have to apply different things to. And if I'm not clear on one of them, if I walk into the school year and I don't know what I'm teaching because I haven't been assigned that role, I don't understand it completely and clearly, well then can I move with the sense of urgency that is required for that situation? If I walk in next year and they tell me, hey coach, you're going to teach English today, and then the next day I'm going to teach history, well can I fully understand either one of those where I can walk in with a sense of urgency to be able to teach in that day? No. No. So, we have to have those things clearly defined. So we're going to start there. I'll pass those out in the back. Pass those around. Pass those around. There will be extra because I have them printed for the freshmen as well. So take the ones you need and whatever we have, make sure we get them back. Damn right it is. All right. As you pass those out, I'll be directing you to specific things here in just a little bit. So over the top, we have our definition. We have our core value. Fast. A to B, the outcome, the behavior, the expectation for what A to B is at the top. Roles are clearly defined so that we may meet them with a sense of urgency the situation requires. All right, great. So let's pick one of these. <coughs> coach, the easy one. I'm going to take that one away from you. What's my role as a coach? Make us better. Win games. Garrett, what's one of my roles as a coach here? Uh, to coach 
Coach, us. Coach, you guys. Okay, as a whole? As a whole? Sure. Is that clearly defined? No. No, we can refine that. We can do better. What else, Troy? Make each one of us get better. Okay. Sure. Coach some wide receivers. <laughs> At least you didn't tell me that I was the head coach. So, <laughs> yeah. At least. Okay, to coach the offense. Good. We're starting to get a little bit more further down. Yes. As one of the co-offensive coordinators with Coach Mick back there. Yes, that is my role. But if we even clearly define that more, it's to what, Monrad? Coach, help grow the Jesus, you just reverted back on me. <laughs> to coach the quarterbacks. Okay. You guys are appreciate you giving me the classroom experience over here. It's really fun. Okay. To coach the quarterbacks, to make sure that they know what to do, to make sure that they are on point so that we can execute the offense, so that we can work as a unit, so that we can work as a group, so that we can work as a team. You're right. I do have a role in coaching all of you guys, but that's not clearly defined. My specific point that I'm accountable for is to make sure that my unit operates and is efficient to the best of their ability. So that means that I have to know exactly what goes into game planning each week for that unit and for the offense as a whole so I understand what it goes together. I have to understand what our mission is for that week, for that opponent, what we're going to see, what we're going to encounter, how we're going to attack that, what we need to do to protect ourselves against that. We have to put together a game plan. We have to come up with practice scripts and practice schedule and understand what goes into each segment of practice so that we can achieve all of those things by the time we get to our walkthrough on Thursday to make sure that everything's complete so that we feel comfortable going to the game on Friday. I have to know what each drill and what skill that's going to help reinforce or build or correct so that the guys know exactly what we're trying to achieve each and every week. There's an intention and a purpose for everything, correct? Sure. It's not just to coach you guys to make you better. That's broad. If I'm going to have that role clearly defined and understand exactly what it means to be a coach on this staff for this team, then I need to understand to the best and most specific understanding what that means for me. If I don't have that clarity, if I don't have that understanding, can I get from A to B? Can I attack that situation with the efficiency, with the sense of urgency that it requires to get that job done? Can I coach you to the best of my ability? If I don't understand my job, I can't do it well. Right? And we can apply that to each one of these things. Being a friend. Does that just mean that you're somebody that says hi to somebody in the morning? No. We talked about that the other day. If you say you're a friend to someone, but they consistently call on you and ask for your help, and you never provide that, are you being a friend? No. You're just an acquaintance. You're just somebody that they know by name. Clearly defining and understanding your roles is the first part of being able to go A to B. Being able to represent that core value of fast. Knowing what to do in that situation. Okay? So, the first thing I want you guys to do. Okay? And don't be filling out everything yet because there's going to be instructions that apply. There are three spots on that sheet of paper you got underneath the definition for A to B. The first three lines of each segment says... An example of a role from a specific part of your life. Now, I focused on three. Obviously, you may have more like I do, but we wanted to give you a direct and specific focal point. So we picked football, school, and home. You each fill different roles in those capacities. In football, you have a specific role here. Okay, so I want you to think about what that is and write it down in that place. In school, you have a specific role here. Okay, so now, before we get into writing that down, okay, hold on. What are some specific roles that you guys fill at school? Obviously, you are a student. You are a student in multidiscipline classes. You have different things going on. Okay, so you are a student. 
A hundred percent, first and foremost. What else? What is another role that you could fulfill here at school not football based? Learning. Okay, yeah. As a student, it is your job to learn, so I don't know that's necessarily a, a role that we're going to fill. What else? An AB student. Okay, maybe you're an honor roll student. Sure, we can define that more clearly. Student council is a role that you could fill, correct? Being a member of another club, another organization, is a role that you could fill here. Being part of AV Tech or orchestra or whatever chess club, if you're an officer in one of those things. Okay, so there are specific roles that you can focus on in that component. If you are simply just a student that shows up to second period algebra, and it's your job to just be there and be present in class, that's fine. Be specific. Set a certain role for yourself there. What about at home? What are different roles that you fill at home? That you're a son. 100%. But let's define that even more. It could be that you're a brother. It could be that you're the caretaker while mom and dad are at work and you have to have that responsibility of having something on your plate that you have to take care of your younger siblings. It could be something else. What else is another role, Pico, you throw at home? You work. Maybe you have a job. Your job is not that you work at Kroger. Your job is not that you work at HEB. You fill a specific role for one of those companies. Don't just tell me where you work. Tell me exactly what it is you do. Do you even understand exactly what your role is there? Are you a cashier? Are you the guy at the end of the conveyor belt that bags the groceries? Are you the guy that runs out to the parking lot and collects the carts? Do you stock shelves? Do you do all of those things? What is your exact role at work? Don't just tell me, I got a job. What else? If you don't work, if your work comes from home, what's the other role you can fill at home, Christian? Chores. Chores. Okay, great. We all say we do chores. Be specific. What is a chore that you can do at home or that you do at home? Dishes. You do dishes. I'm so glad you used that one because that's the exact one we talked about this morning, or one of the two that we talked about this morning. Okay, so Christian does the dishes at home. Be specific. How often do you do them? Okay, maybe not every night, but, but pretty regularly, right? Okay, so be specific with those roles when you fill them out here in just a minute. Everybody with me on that? Don't be default. Don't be below the line. Don't be easy and write those things just in generalities. Be as specific and as detail-oriented as you can be because the next thing on there, okay, is what is the expectations of that role. So you're going to tell me specifically what it is you do, and then you're going to give me exactly, clearly defined what that is to you. I'm not just a coach here at Tomball High School. I listed those things. My role is clearly defined to me. I know exactly what the expectation of is me of me is when I walk in the door each and every morning from that aspect. I know exactly what my expectation is as a teacher here in this building when I walk into the door so that I can do my job to the best of my ability each and every day. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. I know my wife and I's expectation of our children so that as I'm filling the role of father, I know exactly the things that we're trying to teach them and instill in them. I know exactly how we're trying to raise them, what they're trying to learn from us, what their limitations are, what their rules are, what we allow them to do, what we don't allow them to do, so that there is no gray area between mom and dad and they can't pull that thing that everybody pulls. Okay? All right. So... Sense of urgency, and this is why I'm glad that you pulled that example, Christian. Okay? Sense of urgency that every situation requires, and I'm going to jump straight to that because we need to get in the weight room and do that. Okay? If my role is that I'm at home and as a member of my family, I wash the dishes, what does sense of urgency mean that we defined the other day? Efficient. We didn't say fast. We didn't say with speed. We said efficiency. Say it again. Do it right. So how do I wash dishes correctly? What is doing it right to wash dishes? Is it as fast as I freaking can go? 
Am I going to take that sink full of dishes for my four-person family and I'm going to get through it as fast as I can go? No. Why not? If I do that, Cannon, what's going to happen? I'm not going to get them as clean as I should. You're not consistent. You're not consistent. So efficiency and doing it with a sense of urgency that every situation requires, that's going to be different for every situation. If you're the guy that goes and gets the carts at Kroger and you do it as fast as possible, you're probably going to ding a car. You're probably going to do something to damage something. You're not going to do it as great or as intently as you want to. If I wash dishes too fast, I'm going to miss crumbs of food. I'm not going to get the dishes clean. And I'll have to redo it. Sense of urgency and the role requires means identifying what is needed for that role to do it correctly. Understanding, clearly defined, and being able to do it the correct way. Sometimes efficiency means slowing it down and doing it with intention, not speed. Okay, so that third part right there, after you understand and clearly define what your role is, what is the sense of urgency? What is the expectation of this role? What do you need to do to allow yourself to show or to be able to act with A to B for that role? What is the clarity you need and what is the sense of urgency required for you to achieve that role? And that's what I want you guys to read and think about. So here is your homework, okay? As we understand those things, you're going to fill in the examples from your daily life. Your homework is that you put thought and time into this and are intentional with what you say because you're going to share this with somebody. Somebody outside of your unit. I'm asking you to take this home. And between now and Friday, the expectation is that you find mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, guardian. If you don't have one of those at home or accessible, you can talk to your unit leader. You can talk to a teacher. You can talk to somebody that is impactful in your life about these things. What are your roles? What are your expectations? Are they clearly defined? Or can that person help you to clearly define these? And then what is the expectation or what is the sense of urgency that you need to attack each and every one of these with to help you achieve A to B? The expectation is that you will do this, you will complete this, you will have it written out and well thought out so that you can talk with your unit leader and your unit on Friday. You will bring this piece of paper back. We will work on having a digital QR code if that helps you or that is better for you and I'll send that out to your unit leaders to so be looking for that soon. Everybody got it? Any questions? Coach? We're all good? We want them to go put this up and then, okay.